The 5e instructional model helps us engage students in active learning and higher levels of thinking. In this short video, we introduce the 5e's, five phases of carefully sequenced instruction that place students at the center of the learning process. These five phases are more than a lesson plan template. They push learners to deepen their understanding of essential concepts through engagement, exploration, explanation, extension, and ongoing evaluation. Each phase has a specific function. When learners work through the five phases as a system, they construct meaningful knowledge through active learning. The 5e model is grounded in cognitive research that emphasizes the importance of building new conceptual understanding by connecting it to existing knowledge. The sequence of the 5e's help learners make these connections in a way that follows the natural progression of learning in the brain. This model is widely used across content areas and aligns well with the curriculum standards. Research has shown that when the 5e model is used with fidelity, it effectively supports an increase in student learning. The order of the five phases is designed to help the learner build on what they already know in order to construct deeper meaning. Students start with their initial conceptions and then reorganize them into new understanding based on active experiences that are related to the concept being learned. As they move through the phases, open-ended questions and collaborative discussions are used to guide learning and encourage critical thinking and problem solving. The 5e sequence begins with the engage phase. Activities in this phase are designed to mentally engage learners with an event, an idea, or a question. Teachers capture students' interest and bring up an idea or a question that's related to something they already know. Then they connect it to the learning topic. The engage phase also orients students to the learning tasks in the upcoming phases. In the explore phase, learners collaborate and ask questions. They explore and interact with the new learning concept through investigation or observation. This provides students with a common set of experiences to draw on and help each other make sense of new concepts. Teachers act as a guide during this phase rather than providing answers or specific information. In the explain phase, the teacher facilitates a discussion with learners so they can summarize and share what they have learned or observed during the explore phase. They ask questions, clarify misunderstandings, and introduce new formal vocabulary for the learning objective. Through this process, teachers guide students to work together to reach a shared understanding. In the extend phase, learners expand their understanding. Extend activities help students deepen and apply their learning to different situations and broader contexts. We can think of the evaluate phase as the center of the 5e model because assessment is ongoing through the learning sequence. During each phase, the teacher checks for student learning through informal questioning and monitoring. This is used to determine progress toward the desired learning goal and to make just-in-time adjustments to the lesson to meet student needs. Formal evaluation of the learning goal occurs at the end of the lesson. A variety of teaching strategies across multiple grades and content areas can be used when designing 5e lessons. The power of the 5e learning cycle lies in its sequence of instruction, deliberately constructed to follow the natural flow of learning. As students learn in this sequence, they receive multiple opportunities to engage with learning content. This gives them time to integrate their prior ideas with new ones, which results in conceptual change and promotes deeper learning.